25 lives in this train tragedy. Lives that were mourned today in Simi Valley. For more on that, we go to my colleague, Tony Ginyard. Thanks, Conan. This crash has clearly changed so many lives. Tonight, in a one-hour-long prayer service, friends and neighbors turn to each other for comfort. They were drawn to Grace Brethren Church to pray for the victims and survivors of Friday's deadly Metrolink train crash and those who responded to help. Just about everybody in Simi Valley has been touched one way or the other by someone that was injured or possibly even someone who was completely lost. All of us knew that we were going to know somebody that was lost. The names that came up, neighbors, sisters of sisters, someone they worked with. 1,200 people sitting shoulder to shoulder, united by grief. As the names of those killed were read, their families and friends were asked to stand, and they did. They stood for 18-year-old Jacob Hefter, the former Victorian at Palmdale High. They stood for train buff Alan Buck Buckley. I was still in a state of shock that he was just taken away so quickly. They stood for teacher and coach Paul Long. I don't want him to be gone. They stood for pilot and air traffic controller Walt Fuller as his friends visited his home. There are some people who are mad at Metro Lincoln, they're mad at somebody. They want to blame somebody. But, you know, I have to say that Red was a man of great faith. And uh, he really loved the Lord. And so they turned to prayer for strength, reaching out to touch and heal a hurt felt so deeply. This accident brought a close-knit community even closer. I'm Tony Ginyard reporting live from Simi Valley. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Tony. And come on. Now to the story of a family who was returning home on that ill-fated Metrolink train following the funeral of a relative. Now they find themselves having to make plans to bury another loved one who died in Friday's collision. Channel 4's Angie Crouch has their story. Karen and Paul Long with their 16-year-old son Devin were returning from a funeral on Metrolink train 111 Friday when something went terribly wrong. And all of a sudden there was a tremendous bang and a tremendous jolt and I had actually thought that a bomb went off. All the cars started buckling and jolting. Everybody was thrown forward. There were people moaning and groaning and screaming and it was just terrible. Karen and Devin were injured but conscious. Through the twisted wreckage, they found 54-year-old Paul lying face down in the train stairwell. With fire and smoke pouring from the train, they stayed with Paul as long as they could, but Karen and Devin were eventually evacuated to a triage area. Around sunset, and the light had faded, uh, they brought Dad out. So Mom and I ran over to him. They were saying, you know, keep talking to him, keep talking to him. Paul was rushed by helicopter to County USC Medical Center, where he died Saturday from massive head injuries. Paul was a beloved English teacher at Oaks Christian School. His students have left cards and letters of thanks to him at the Simi Valley train station. But it seems Paul Long saved his greatest lessons for his son, Devin. You know, he taught me to make uh, good decisions about the friends that I hang out with, kind of music I should listen to. But I did talk to him and did tell him that I love him and I know I'm going to see him again. Angie Crouch, Channel 4 News.